Well, that sounded fine to me. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll take it away with the intro this week, boys. We don't have to fight over it. Hello and welcome back to the official podcast. This is episode 165 and also two episodes in a row with Jackson. That's a new Hi. record for the 2020 season. And we're joined by a fellow Australian YouTuber named Lewis Spears. Take the stage. G'day, cunts. Uh, happy to be on the official <laughs> podcast. I thought I'd start it off in the most Australian way possible, just so I fit in with my Australian brother, just by saying cunt right off the bat. Sorry, might, might not monetize It was a beautiful episode, intro, boys. cunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. No, I'm happy to be here, man. I'm happy to be here. Well, it's, we're very happy to have you here. In fact, this is something I was just recently talking about on a stream. Do you think Australian slang sucks ass? Australian slang, mm, some of it. I think we swear like champions, but some of our slang's a little bit wanky, yeah. No, like, you what don't. slang? <laughs> Let me just interject. Okay, did you, want to yeah. <laughs> you don't swear like champions or whatever you just say. You, just, you have one word, you say cunt a lot. No, that's not true. That's false. Okay, what else you got? Uh, it's, uh, you, could, you, could, you could walk into church and call the priest a fuckhead and he'd be like, how are you going? Like, it's normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's right. We, we we are pretty much the undisputed kings of like curse words, Kaya. Yeah, That's... but everything else that then comes out of you... your mouth just sounds adorable. Like you're straight out of a That's cartoon. What... It's <laughs> very difficult to see saying. as sailors. Yeah, because your slang is super cute. It's like middle schoolers. Like, for example, your yeah. sick days, you call them sickies. Your yeah. breakfast is brekkie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm seeing where you guys are getting it from. We, we he like, does have a point there, Lewis. Yeah. What do we do? Yeah. We speak and swear like toddlers, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying you're not intimidated of uh, Aussies? No. Well... I guess it um, depends on what Aussie like. Your bogans are pretty hardcore. Oh yeah, yeah. But but really, when you think about it, are those guys like completely human? Like they're definitely Australian, but are they like one hundred percent human? Those guys. I think they're part animal, and I think they would not be offended if I said that. They probably don't even know how to spell animal, from what I've seen. So you're probably in the clear there. <laughs> so what's the closest equivalent of a bogan in? American terms is it is it like white trash redneck, trailer probably. park? Yeah, it'd be yeah. like yeah. redneck. Yeah. Maybe not trailer park, but I'd say redneck. I'd say like bogans are much more common in Australia than than rednecks are in America. I think, although I've only been to the states once. Oh, you're underestimating our redneck, my friend. Don't don't worry. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. if you went 20. to like the middle of America, then you'd see more. I think yeah. on the coasts, it's a bit we more. We have uh, we have entire oh, well, states dedicated redneck. to rednecks. You just gotta yeah, go to the right true. places. Although we've got them, it's called Queensland. <laughs> Fuck you! I knew you were gonna say that as soon as you, as soon as the subject come, came up. I knew Queensland was going under the bus. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> Queensland is a shithole of fucking bogans, dude. Th that's no, really, that's another thing. Yeah, Australia is divided into like territories that each have their own identity. States. Like, well, states whatever. and territories. I get mm. you, but like Tasmania is your incest capital, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much so, undisputed. So Why? Queensland's your bogans. What are the other identities? Uh, Melbourne's like the the yuppie, like uh, kind Melbourne's of like very, snobs Melbourne's very very hipster. Hipstery. They'll protest at the drop of a hat. Type yeah, five. yeah, yeah. So, so, hipster, hipsters is a good one too. I, so I, Melbourne yeah. is like our Seattle. It's just where all the hipsters and like trendy yeah. people go. Yeah, I'd say it's it. more of your like California, maybe. That's how very about, similar to yeah. How about Sydney? Sydney, Sydney Sydney's a weird vibe. It has like it has a little bit of the Melbourne like uh like hippie vibe, but it also has like really violent crime as well. But it also <laughs> has heaps of rich people. Sydney's like a real melting pot of cultures that are always fighting. So like New yeah, York. That's what I'd say too. Would yeah, you say is that accurate? I'd, I'd say so. Okay. Bro, I, mm -hmm. I love yeah. your accent, man. You sound like a text-to-speech program. Where are you from? <laughs> Thank you. Is it, is it the connection or the personality? <laughs> no, it's, no just, it's, it's just your, your it's noise. It's just your smooth uh, velvety it, sounds, it sounds like you're not actually real. Charlie's just typing everything into Google Translate. <laughs> That's the most ironic thing anyone's ever said on the show. Charlie yeah. piping Kaya zoot lines in. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, I don't know what it is about my accent where people just, nobody can pinpoint it. It's I get that question a lot 
especially recently, yeah. is what is your accent? What the fuck is going on? You sound, I've gotten, you sound Filipino, you sound black British. I don't even know what the hell that means. You sound kind of sort of Iraqi. It's all of these, uh, somehow no one ever guesses Turkish and German, which I am. Ah, Turkish and German. No, I can hear that now that mm. you say German. Yeah, you you sound like a like a villain in a low budget crime film. It's cool. How low budget? Should I be insulted? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this isn't gonna turn out well. Like this isn't like a low ball movie. Maybe I do that. look, maybe Bollywood. <laughs> Ooh, those aren't low budget. Ooh. That's a fucking compliment, no, baby. That's a, yeah. yeah, that's great. I should feel honoured. Why yeah, should you feel honored? Yeah, for you, Kaya. Uh, no, I, said this, Kaya, yeah, I said Kaya should feel honored. Uh, yeah. I would love to play a minor movie villain role, just like be the henchman in a Bond movie, which isn't minor, I know, but <laughs> just literally any <laughs> you know Bond movie ripoff. I mean, who wouldn't? That shit would be fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What would be Kaya? What would be your like your gimmick if you were a Bond villain? This can extend to everyone right now. If you were a Bond villain, what would be your like thing that the the movie's named after and shit? Uh, so, okay, so I'm the main villain, not the henchman. Yeah. Is that what so you're like, like you know how most you know how most Bond movies like the name kind of mm. has to do with what the villain's doing, like the man with the golden gun or the world is not enough because the dude's going to space and this and that. What would yeah. be your, like, Bond shtick if you were a, the main bad guy? Fuck, I don't know. The, there's so many options, you know? We, we still have that little mind riddle puzzle where how much damage can you cause with one nuke? Remember that game we used to play? Oh, yeah. On the show. That. Well, uh, that, that doesn't give James Bond much of a fair chance. <laughs> Yeah, just why does that anyone just nuke, nuke James Bond? <laughs> yeah, that movie would be over fucking quick. It'd just be called James Bond vs. Nuke, and it goes for three seconds. It's just one cunt pushing a button, and then the film ends. <laughs> I'd, I'd probably just go over the top dressed like a pinhead from Hellraiser, because I watched that Ooh. recently. Ooh. Just be, you know, I'd be super cringy looking, but I'd be a multi-billionaire, so I could just pay everyone to pretend I'm cool. And if you mm -hmm. pretend long enough, it becomes a reality. And then James Bond has to fight me. They're sitting going, oh, no, Mr. Bond, you opened the box and I came and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I guess mine following in line with podcast stories, mine would be James Bond, wet dreams are forever. And I'd just be a villain who like jacks into like this dream matrix. I threaten to take over the world through dreaming or some shit. Wow. It's pretty yeah. powerful stuff. <laughs> wow. What it's not you, that Lewis? easy to come up with villainry. Yeah, what about you, Lewis? That's true. Uh, I think my movie would be called, fuck, that guy's got big legs. And uh, <laughs> I would just be incredibly <laughs> tall. James Bond couldn't get anywhere near me. I'd just kick him away. He'd be like, I can't stop him. His legs are too long. <laughs> You challenge him I to wouldn't a really be doing contest. anything evil. I'd just be like maybe robbing a tuck shop and they'd be like, fuck. Someone stop me. <laughs> if only there was a better way than fighting with my fists. <laughs> if only we could do anything about this. That would be counterproductive though. You guys see those documentaries about super tall people, like the world record holder is like eight feet, nine feet tall or something. And you think you yeah. see that guy and you think, holy shit, he's like a if that guy worked out, he would look like a real life orc. He could subjugate everyone mm. in his village. And but then you hear that, you know, because he's so big, all of his bones are like made out of glass or something. If he ever slipped and fell, he would die. And you go, fuck, that's yep. lame. Now I don't want to be tall anymore. The original the original world's tallest man, the the one who was like the tallest man for God knows how many years and you know, back in Wadlow. the past. Yeah, he used to have to wear leg braces because he was literally too wow. tall for his legs to support himself. Oh, so to that's stand, crazy. he had to put on permanent leg so braces. So I'm, I'm curious, how tall are you, Lewis? I, I think that I'm at the limit of height where you can live a comfortable <laughs> life. Like I'm, I'm six <laughs> foot eight. He's five six. Six <laughs> five. Six six five. Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm six. Someone six, finally no, beat six, me on eight. the show. Holy Is shit! Anyone, yeah, yeah, six, six eight. eight. Wait, six, six eight. eight. Two two meters tall. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Any bigger than me, you it's a disability, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty crazy. sure you already that's, classify. Yeah, yeah that, I don't know that's, about that. that's gotta be uh, inconvenient. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. That is your right, right? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> freak. I'm freak status. Stick. I'm not offended by that. I, here's how I know I'm a freak. Sometimes I'll be walking down the street and I'll see like a guy that's incredibly tall, and I'll go, "Fuck, I wouldn't want to be that tall." He looks like a freak. And then we'll walk past each other, and I'm way bigger than him. And I'll go, "Holy <laughs> shit, that's what everyone thinks when they look at me." <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That would be an interesting <laughs> villain, though. You'd be like Slender yeah. Man to James Bond, just following him everywhere. And then he kind of just yeah, pushes no, you it, over it and you cool die. It is cool being this tall, but you wouldn't want to be any bigger than me. I think about that all the Do time. Do you ever like, like knock yourself out walking into any door frames? Any goofy I, shit happening? Uh, I used to do that. Normally trees get me. I'm good with door frames because I've worked out a method. I worked out that I'm like, I'm pretty much exactly the average height of a door frame. So you know when you take a step <laughs> and you move on to your next leg, you, you move up a little bit. As long as yeah. I'm on the come down as I enter a room, I'm good. But if I'm on that up step, I'm going to end up it's with like, a concussion. It, you're describing just walking as a tall person as if it's a plane taking <laughs> off and landing. It's yeah, it's like Jesus, speed they, running strats. I have to frame perfect my dodge on the door frame. My yeah. God, they, I the do woman a, is I do a joke on stage yourself. about how if I ever fell over, like I would just people think I would just fucking die. Yeah, well, somebody probably, yeah, long long distance, yeah. You'd probably yeah. reach terminal velocity before you hit the ground. Well, yeah. what people don't realize is <laughs> it just that explodes when he hits the floor. <laughs> it, well, what people don't realize is that when I do fall over, it takes me about twenty minutes to hit the ground. So I've got time to plan the landing. <laughs> you get to think about it. I you will can say though, Lewis, curvature of the you earth. Hide, <laughs> you hide your height super well. I had no idea you were that tall. I knew you were tall, but not yeah. to like this freakish myth status. Now, are you are you to <laughs> the height status. where you want to hide it? Like, do you do you often think like, oh yeah, that's me. I, I stood in the way back of that photo, so I looked <laughs> regular. Like, nah. is that a thing? Nah, look, I'll be honest. I fucking love being tall. It's really cool. Like, uh, I do like it. It only gets annoying at like music concerts because no matter where I am, unless I'm at the back, I just feel like an asshole. Like, I can't even be mm, in the yeah. middle. Yeah. Yeah. So I assume this really works with the ladies that you're tall or yeah, does it backfire yeah. and they do they assume you're just a tall lanky freak? Do you get to uh, reap all the benefits? No, nah, it it works. A lot of chicks are just like I get a lot of points just for being tall. Like I'm not the best looking guy in the world. I think a lot I think my height confuses a lot of women. Like they go, "Man, <laughs> he's attractive." But then I sit down and they go, "What? Why did I ever like this guy?" And then I stand up and they go, "Fuck, there it is." <laughs> Why That's am I sparkle, wet? baby? What is going on? <laughs> this is an anomaly. Well, yeah. I, I used to, I, the first, um, the first few girls I dated were really short girls and I worked out that doesn't work for me because like the, a, a weird problem I didn't ever foresee is if I'm in public with a really short girl, often we can't hear each other when we're talking cause we're <laughs> literally too far away. Like it's like trying to have a conversation with someone else, like two feet away. You can do it, but you have to really try to listen. And if you're in a public space, it communication's fucked. Wow, yeah, that's super interesting. I never thought about that. Yeah, yeah that is. Well, you, neither you must did look I. like a National Geographic shot of a giraffe bending over to feed its young. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really is like that. And then also, like, yeah, hanging out with a girl who's like five foot three, it just gives me a headache, mostly because she's a woman, but also <laughs> because I have to look down. Cool. <laughs> have you ever thought about moving to one of those? Um, countries where the average height is really low and just live like a god twice as tall as everyone oh. else tokyo like, yeah. So cool. yeah is are they i'd, the lo ones? I'd love I mean, to like he already does that though <laughs> yeah that's yeah i mean i kind of live that life so far yeah. Above. Yeah. yeah like I, I don't know i would like to go to japan i think i might wait for this corona shit to die down <laughs> that's China. Well, that's in China. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but I feel like it's going everywhere. Like it's in Australia now. Like there's four no. people here with it. Stop. Wait, Stop. what really? Yeah. Yeah, there's four people <sighs> with it in Australia. No no Where? one in Victoria. I think it's I think three of them are in Sydney and then one of them might be in Queensland. Is what Ooh, I read. Baby. No. Ooh, that's maybe not, that's that, Jackson. That doesn't sound Get right. Yourself I, checked, I Jackson. No, I would have heard of it if that was Yeah, the maybe case. not Queensland, well, I, but there's definitely the four The World Health Organization contacts you I'm, about it. How would you know? I'm honestly well, I've been, surprised. I've been keeping up to it. Charlie, I don't know if there was that, anyone in Australia there. Charlie, I'm honestly surprised you aren't panicking about this. 
like ringing the alarm bells about World War Four. It's still in China. The instant someone in America gets it, he'll be Googling it. Someone all day. in the America has gotten it, Andrew, in Seattle. Yeah. Charlie's going to draft it to fight the virus. You know, they've shut down <laughs> two cities, bro. It's crazy. It's like Plague Inc. I, I just find it's better in these situations to remain calm and logical, stay mm. rational. Yeah, like all. So, what, so what did you Google that told you you wouldn't get it then? <laughs> I, I found out it's it's just a different flu. Yeah, <laughs> there, there. No, it kills it's a, old people. It's not just a different flu. It's a pussy version of the flu. Don't the Chinese do this like every other year? It's like a biannual video game release. It's they get the swine flu, the bird flu, mad cow disease, this flu, that flu, and this one. Uh, this year it's the yeah, corona disease. They can't stop the fucking called. eating like everything SARS. that shouldn't be eaten. Yeah. Have we fucking forgotten about SARS already? This flu yeah. is so ins insensitive. God. And every time it's the end of the world, but then you see, oh, okay, seven people died of this. All right, it's probably yeah. not that big of a deal. But, fuck, I don't know why I do this. I should just lean into it and make fun of Charlie and try to scare him. Like, Charlie just... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's not a big... Maybe it is a big deal, and that's the reason why it hasn't killed so many people. It's because, like, authorities have taken the lead and quarantined it quickly because it was a big deal. They that's actually that. true. They, yeah, that uh, like they managed to... They managed to gene sequence it in, like, 10 days or something, whereas it took them a long fucking time to figure out how to beat SARS. Oh, really? So, so they know how to beat this one? I don't know if that means that they know how to beat it, but it means oh, they figured do. it out way better. No, no. So the Chinese government, I read an article, They what they did, so their method of beating this thing was that they started arresting people who talked about it initially. That's a pretty efficient strategy. <laughs> yeah. I was going to oh. say, like, when the Chinese government goes, don't worry, guys, everything's fine. It's like, I don't know. I see what's happening in Hong Kong, and you guys are acting like it's, it's a fucking holiday. That's a funny commentary on China. Do you think in China you feel more safe when the government is taking action on shit because it means they're actually doing something rather than when they say, no, everything's fine. Go about your business. Don't worry about it. Man, yeah, I, I, saw people, I saw like video of Chinese people out on Chinese New Year's, like no mask going, we, we have no mask. We trust the government. Like we're going to be fine. We're all healthy. Like, I don't know what level they actually believe it or if it's true, if it's if they've just been like convinced by propaganda. But like that shit's that shit's really real. Like when you live in a government that that's that's that powerful. There are some people that are like, we must be safe. <laughs> there's a literal volcano erupting in the back it's like no the dear leader said we are fine this is not hot i'm not sweating dude it's fucking weird you know you you read up on these like how it started in such it's like in the, some city called wuhan or some province and yeah wuhan. You, know, you go yeah. oh that sucks man like if this is serious, a lot of them are going to die and this is fucked up. And then you read that this started in some animal market where they are selling live cats and wolf puppies to be eaten. And then you go, OK, now I don't feel bad anymore. <laughs> I hope it's a black plague. Fuck you. I'm OK with Bro, this. It's crazy the shit they eat. Yeah. I've been obsessed really with like nuts. looking at what uh, like rural Chinese people eat. And mm. like it's just like if they just have a checkbox and there's only one thing on the checklist and it's like, does it move? And if you can tick that, they'll fucking eat it. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like I saw there, there was one one meal and it's so popular. It has like a name. It's literally just live baby rats and they call it a three Ooh. squeaks. I saw a guy eating it. It's called Three Squeaks. Yep. And it's called yep. that because the rat squeaks when you pick it up with chopsticks and then it squeaks again when you dip it in sauce and then it squeaks again when you bite its fucking head off. Crazy. Jesus Christ. Yeah, then this yeah. whole shit start. I read another article where they said that the Chinese government made a food network or some daily show apologize because she popularized bat soup. And apparently that's how this yeah. whole thing started. And you go, bat soup? What the fuck? Like, I don't know. These... <laughs> I don't feel too bad. I'll be honest. I'm fine with the coronavirus. Let it rummage a little bit around there. Man, I think that's the biggest indicator that they really trust their government because th there's no way you would have the confidence to eat like bat if you weren't like, the government's got whatever I get from this. <laughs> they'll, they'll sort it out. No worries. Because I'm <laughs> definitely getting something. Yeah, it's like baby rats. Like, hey, Kai, I just picked this up from a sewer. Want to eat it? No. Well, the government says it's fine. Okay. Oh boy! 
<laughs> I saw uh, one video. I think, I think, I don't know. I might have, when I was looking at this shit on Twitter, I think I went a bit too far and just started seeing like racist <laughs> propaganda and shit. But like, I saw one video of just this woman feeding her like toddler, like live tadpoles. <laughs> oh, God. The, the kid was loving it. Because he had, you know, he had no idea. Kids will eat whatever you give them, but they were just fucking live tadpoles. And I was like, what? Well, it sounds like Chinese people will just eat whatever you give them. <laughs> it's not just the kids. <laughs> I don't know. This they'll probably, soon they'll probably just beat this virus by eating it. It's like coronavirus. Yeah, let's put it in the soup. <laughs> yeah. Can I get a corona? You know what they it? need to do? They need to send over a new village salt. to just eat Wuhan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Straight fucking cannibalism to solve the Wuhan solution. soup. Let's go. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past the governments to just quarantine the whole zoo, purge the people living in it. Women and children, old people, all the same, and they're just packaging. It's like popcorn, selling it to the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. Hmm. So, Lewis, I uh, I don't think anyone mentioned this to you previously, and for that, I'm sorry. But we do have ads on the show. We we only yep. have one for this episode. Uh, if you want to join in, you're more than welcome to. But if you'd rather sit it out for your own reasons, that's also fine. Ah, uh, that should uh, be fine. What's the ad? As long as it's not okay. for genocide. Well, I'm Lewis, we can just go ahead and start it, and you can hop <laughs> in however you would like. I'm just glad you asked, matter. Lewis. Since yeah. because you're so tall, women's faces are always on your groin level, aren't they? That, yes, that's that's correct. Yeah, so you want to cle- keep that area all clean. You want to have your balls nice and clean shaven, because when they you know start sucking on your balls, you don't want them to feel yeah. like they're sucking on a scrunchie, right? So you want that stuff to be nice and clean, perky, smell nice Mm -hmm. is that correct in that assumption i mean that's where they hang out most of the time that's so true dude that's so true do you have some kind of product or service perhaps a monthly fee type deal that's right the coronavirus is known for its hair loss (laughs) stop (laughs) (laughs) you won't live long enough to see your pubes sprout (laughs) i like it now we have to take this out (laughs) yeah well (laughs) <laughs> Do the rest of it then, Andrew. Oh, that's fine. So, boys, I don't know about you, but sometimes I just get that wildfire urge to just trim my crotch. All of it. Just balls, little dick hairs that go up the base a little bit, my, my pubic mound, all of it, gone. And sometimes you just, you fuck it up. You get a little ingrown, you maybe get a little cut, something. It's bound to happen after thousands of times. That's why support for the official pro- podcast is brought to you by Manscaped, the best in men's below-the-belt grooming. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. They've got a brand new electric trimmer, engineered in 18 months to give you the perfect, greatest ball hair trimming experience ever created. It's called the Lawn Mower 3.0. It's got quiet stroke technology, which is something a lot of people in our audience are probably very adept at. And let's not forget about its charging stand. (laughs) You can show it off loud and proud because it includes a rapid charging dock powered by USB. You can trim that junk of yours and you can do it with 20% off and free shipping using code official at manscaped.com your balls will thank you get 20 percent off and free shipping with code official at manscaped.com 20 percent off free shipping manscaped.com use code official lewis how would you describe your balls look after a fresh trim from manscaped fucking majestic that's a fantastic way to put it and he's australian you, so you know he's serious about it <laughs> that's manscaped.com code official 20% off of something that'll make your balls look squeaky clean and you need it that was beautiful well speaking since we're already down in the area do you have any interesting masturbatory tales Lewis anything interesting uh man my most my best story is uh I I do it on stage there's a stand up clip of it on my channel I used to masturbate incorrectly um I used to use, I used to use, uh, I didn't use one hand going up and down. I would use both hands and rub them together like you were starting a fire. Oh, oh. Ooh, an off yeah. meta technique. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I can't How tell the story work? without just doing the bit. Uh, it, it, it didn't, 
you know, like it really just didn't like, I, like, I think it worked the first three or four times. And then I worked out the one handed technique and I was like, Oh the, yeah, this makes so much more sense. Like why, why the fuck was I ever doing that? Um, but did I, you yeah. damage your dick at all by, by like yeah, did chafing you, it? Did you ever start yeah. a fire? <laughs> I think that by the third, I think at the third time I did it. Yeah. I was, it, I was like in pain and I was like, and my fucking stupid 12 year old brain was like, I guess masturbating just isn't for me. Cause it's not that good. <laughs> it's not like I, fun. I didn't it's even consider that me. maybe I was doing it wrong. You know? Mm hmm. That's why you should walk into your local church and go, hey, fuck face, teach me. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying I've to learn, guys. I've got it. a good sex story because that masturbating story, that's like on my channel as a stand-up bit. But I got a good sex one if, you, if you'd like to hear that. If you yeah, can inspire any that's virgins what listening. We're founded what, are you just going to brag about having sex? What do you mean by good sex story? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. That's, I mean, it's a good sex story. I don't mean it was, it was a good sex. It was awful, right? Uh, okay. Okay, good. Then I want to hear it. This happened, uh, this happened years ago. Me and my girl, we went to, uh, this is when we were first dating. You know, when you first start dating someone and, and you just like have sex all day, every day at whatever mm. time you can, we were in that phase and, um, my girl was a monster. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> so we went to this, we went to this, uh, cafe, went for a nice drive and it was like a normal date in my head. Right. We go to this, uh, we go around driving and we stop off at this cafe to use the bathroom and they're two unisex bathrooms. So I go in one and then my girl goes in the other and then I, you know, I take my pants off to use the bathroom, whatever. And then I hear a knocking at the door. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? It's my girl. And she goes, let me in, let me in. I'm like, oh, what's happening? So I open the door and, and like my pants are down. I'm like, what are you doing? And she goes, she doesn't say anything. She just like starts making out with me. And I, I realize, oh no, she wants to fuck in this, in this restaurant. And this, mind you, is at 12 p.m. in the afternoon it's packed. I can hear people having lunch with their grandma. I'm not into it at all. I'm like, I don't want to do this. This is a crime, right? But <laughs> anyway, at this point, I was too far gone. I, it was my me too mo mo moment. She's going at me. And then <sighs> she kind of push, She puts the toilet seat down, both of them. And then she sits <sighs> me on it. And then she sits on my lap. Uh, and it's porcelain. And it shatters. And bro, uh. it made the loudest noise. Like, you know, when sometimes when you fart into a toilet, it makes a really loud noise. Imagine if you smashed 30 plates into a toilet bowl. That's what the sound it, what it made. The, I literally, the first thing I hear is the toilet smashing. The second thing I hear is everyone stop having lunch. <laughs> and go, what the <laughs> fuck was that noise? <laughs> and then I'm like, holy shit. I start freaking out and I'm angry because I didn't want to do this at all. It was all her idea. So all I do, I'm such a dog. I put on my pants and I walk out and I go, this is your problem. And I left her. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. yeah and I hey, went to the to car. Stand up for yourself. That's right. I left her for every man for himself. I was like, fuck this. Right. So anyway, she came out like 10 minutes later and, uh, she freaked out and she stayed in there for too long and she came out and then, uh, there was the restaurant staff waiting outside the bathroom and she was, uh, in the unisex one. She comes out, bumps into them. They're like, what's going on? What happened? And they saw me come out like before. So they knew we were both in there and she just goes, Oh, I, um, and then he just looks at her and goes, just leave. <laughs> and then we left. You could have so really, when you were, yeah, you wow. when you were fucking, that. was there like, were you fucking in a stall that had shit in it? No, it was a, it was like a, it was a nice restaurant. Like it was nice. I don't think okay. anyone had used wow. it before. So That's did you get like part. porcelain shards in your ass? Like what, what came of the damage? Yeah, did you fall oh, in the toilet? Oh yeah, I yeah. forgot. Yeah, I cut, I cut my ass. I still have a scar on my left ass cheek. I like, yeah, cut it <laughs> oh. quite badly. This is like six years ago. It's still there. I, wow. I, was, I was so scared. I was like, I'm going to get sepsis or fucking like Lyme <laughs> disease. I don't know what you get. Did you go to the hospital and have to explain how you uh. got that? No, I was, I just did the man thing and was like, if I ignore it, I'll be healthy again. 
much. No, you, you, <laughs> the man thing is, first of all, you, you step in front of a mirror, you pull down your pants and you use some whiskey or cheap vodka to disinfect the sites and then you pull out the bullets. <laughs> The random bullets that got lodged in there from the toilet for some reason, but the fuck, that sucks. Bullet. The the most egregious part of the story is that you did not get to shit. That must have been <laughs> upset. I didn't get to shit or come. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's terrible. terrible. Blue balled beer on the stall crying. Yeah. It was like my one opportunity to do those things at the same time and she blew it. So <laughs> how did how did that uh, what a relationship beat. end? Oh, we're still together, and I love her very much. <laughs> <laughs> it was at that moment I knew she was the one. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that she didn't break up with you on the spot, though, for just bailing on her after that. Uh, hey, she, I think we both decided that's what you get because she really <laughs> pushed me into it, right? She really peer pressured me. She used pussy power and she got me. I went into like caveman mode. I was like, oh, pussy, I'll do whatever. And then I got tricked. Uh, so mm. we're even. Good. Yeah. Me too. I'll <laughs> so did, it, did anything come <laughs> up from that ever after? Like, did you have to pay the restaurant for the toilet or any of that? Uh, no, nothing ever came of it. Like we, we, because we didn't park in there, uh, so nothing happened. I think it was just it would just be one of those things where it, it's probably just a story that's handed down generation by generation for all the restaurant owners of like, man, one time this yeah. couple came in and tried to fuck on our toilet and destroyed it. <laughs> God, that is yucky. What a disgusting yeah. environment. Mm. <laughs> fucking oh, fuck hilarious you. visual so though. <laughs> Did this did this stop you both from fucking in public from now on? Was this a wake up call for her? Or? Oh no, I I never did that shit. I've never been into the public thing. I think there's a little bit of that in her, but I I had to stomp it out after that. I was like, I don't want to do that anymore, because because th look, the best case scenario is you have like three out of ten sex. Worst case and the most likely case, you end up in jail. Yeah, it's not yeah, worth that's... the risk at all. No, but the risk is what makes it fun. Right, yeah. so maybe yeah. your girlfriend is now just even more into it. She's like, "Oh fuck yeah, I got caught." Maybe next time I won't be. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should have yeah. been a lot harder about it. Like run out saying, "Help, she's raping me." Yeah, maybe yeah. she <laughs> loosened the toilet seat before before you guys went in. She yeah, set the scene up dude. so that there was a big commotion. Yeah, Man, people I, will have a lot of sympathy. It, you guys are right for the five what seven foot tall man yelling help help she's raping me <laughs> <laughs> she, she won't let me go you guys are right i should have pressed charges i <laughs> uh, just i was overpowered by this five foot tall woman it might not be too late you can still sue her yeah what's the statute of limitation on busting a fucking toilet <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. Vandalism. If I charge her, well, then am I admitting to vandalizing the toilet and then I'll get done for that? No. Well, that's a small well, price to pay. Good question. Putting a monster in jail. That's true. <laughs> I have to stand up for her. <laughs> you can't let this crime go unpunished, Lewis. That's, that's yeah. true. Do I'm, it for the good I'm of dating Australia. Harvey Weinstein. Oh, no. <laughs> she's the Harvey Weinstein of Australia. Turns out she's done this to a lot of comedians. <laughs> yeah, Corner a lot of comedians and even more toilets. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. She shattered my dreams like it was porcelain. <laughs> that's a really great story. <laughs> I guess I just wanted to you boys. Have you have you guys yeah. ever fucked in public? Any of you? Mm, Define oh, well, public. Do you count like a yeah? Do you count like a state park as public? <laughs> That's about as public as it gets, yeah, I'd say. Yeah. Well, what if it's a yeah. state park and Isn't it was that like just one a in synonym the morning? for a public park, bro? No, well, I mean like a nature walk kind of like, thing, but it's still a oh, public park kind no. of thing. Like, I'm with Jackson where you need more detail. Like, by public, do you mean there are people around and you can be seen or just a public space? Yeah, how many people have to be in the vicinity within, say, yeah. 10 I guess, meters? Hmm. Because, like, very, I've, very I've done it at a park as well, but it was at, like, one in the morning and near some bushes. It's like I wasn't trying to be seen. Yeah. Well, I, mean, you, wait, I, I don't think anyone's trying to be seen. Jacking off like a fucking bush predator. 
<laughs> what were you doing, Andrew? Yeah. Yeah, while girl, Little League softball was in, so you know. Yeah, does <laughs> outside Charlie's window count? <laughs> All the little shoulders running around. Couldn't help himself. <laughs> oh, no, stop, stop. <laughs> but no, I've, I've had a couple dates where it was like, oh, man, I... We should have sex, but we're both 30 <laughs> minutes from our houses. Uh, how about that park? <laughs> there's a kindergarten right next door. Let's go there instead. <laughs> I, don't worry. There's a police station nearby. <laughs> but, you know, you have, you have that urge and you don't want to wait to go home or you're like 45 minutes because yeah. you're in downtown. So you just go, hey, there's a there's a park and no one's there. Let's do it. I've, I've done that a the couple thrill times. The of it's pretty exciting, I think. This, I, I, mean, I, wouldn't, the I wouldn't be of... pushing people into public toilets. <laughs> Man, there's the an element of, of like getting caught that does add a bit of excitement to like not even just sex, like oh, yeah. just crime in general yeah. or just being an <laughs> asshole. You know, there's that yeah. there's that oh will I get caught factor that makes things fun that maybe aren't that fun. Yeah, yeah. you can tell when sex set... isn't fun to you. Well, no, not when your girlfriend's fun. Harvey Weinstein, no. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I see. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> so, Charlie, you brought the question lived up. That experience, have, yeah. have you ever done it in public? Yeah. No, no, I don't think I could ever do that. That it just doesn't seem like worth the risk to me. Like so he what, said, it's what? mediocre sex with the best, with the worst possible outcome being jail or like I bust a load near you know some so gross area you, and then I'm worried about a disease. So, mm. what would you do if, say, you met a girl in Orlando? And she lived in, I don't know, Kissimmee, so she was 45 minutes away. And you're in Tampa, so you're like an hour away. And she was like, I'm so goddamn horny. I am I need sex. I'm fu Oh, fuck me. And she's like a 10. What would you do? I'd say, ma'am, that's very sweet, but please consult Tiana first. I need permission. Okay, in the fantasy world where Tiana doesn't exist is what I'm saying. It's There's Tiana. No such thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's Tiana. There you go. I'd say, madam, we're getting a room. In Orlando. So you'd buy a hotel rent a, somewhere. Rent a hotel or hotel, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Madam. How gentlemanly. Madam. It's like Madam. her mom is there with her. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, madam, and who's your young friend? <laughs> May I fuck oh, your fuck daughter? Oh, fuck your sisters. <laughs> <laughs> You're so beautiful. <laughs> Have you fucked in public, Kaya? I don't want to admit to any crimes. I've certainly done shit in public. Oh, come on, you pussy. Admit it. Mm -hmm. No one's going to put you in jail for this. I'm a complete admit degenerate. I, I just, I don't know why. why. Kaya's There's naked something right fun. now. I, like I said He's before, I mean, why do you think my camera is only... School. Huh? He's definitely done it at a preschool. He's, he's dodging the question, for sure, in front of the kids. Maybe with one of them, who knows? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that didn't sound Judge. confident at all, yeah. Kyle. It sounded like very nice, please. <laughs> that sounded like an L.A. noir when you doubt something, but it's really casual. Yeah. I have not done that. <laughs> Yet. Well, I was today. in a preschool. <laughs> it's like yeah, edging it for the correct response. College. High school. Wait, what? You fucked in front of high school? Yeah, like, what, what are you talking? Explain. Explain. Hey, man, that's better that than homeschool. Uh, uh, homeschool, yeah, that. me and my mom. Just <laughs> fucking oh, public. Yeah. Now we're talking. On the now balcony. Somewhere. Slow and down. an earthquake killed us. <laughs> no, I'm not admit, admitting to anything. I don't feel comfortable. Oh, come on. Uh, lame. <laughs> oh, lame. First time in podcast history, Kaya's uncomfortable with something and it has to do with admitting a crime. What a fucking pussy. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah how dare well, I see, not want to admit to crimes? Think I'll, of think of it. This is like, this is the kinkiest nature of your kink right here. This, this will turn you on the most, admitting it, like, in front of public. No. The kinky part isn't yeah, admitting it in public, Jackson. That's the stupid part. That's why... You know, you see young criminals admit their crimes because they want to brag and then they get caught. You don't want yeah, that. Yeah, but you're, you're playing with the, the risk that you'll get caught and put in jail right now. You might not. It's the risk of it. Give That's me a hint, sexy. Kaya. I need to know. Yeah. Give us it's the start of the three words. Oh, I think you're saying, yeah. What happened there? Yeah. Are, Are you so touching turkey? yourself? Give us two more. Wait, yeah. the country I mean, or uh, the animal? 
<laughs> Two of those words are turkey. <laughs> no, sometimes you just get bored with your friend at 1 a.m. And, you know, there's nobody around in the park at 1 a.m. Except the person who cleans the park, so you kind of have to sneak around him. Like, it's the stealth game. And then he notices you and you bludgeon him over the head to avoid getting caught. <laughs> yeah. I have not done that. That's why this is going. Talk about it. Because that, that's, you steal this isn't at all. Steal this isn't at all as impressive as I thought it was going to be. What, you just fucked in the park? How's I that? steal his clothes and How walk into the like guard's cabin and fuck all of his friends yeah. because they think I'm him. <laughs> You're hit, it's hit, man. <laughs> you just put on his uniform instantly and walk around. <laughs> How are you uncomfortable erection? about that, though? That's so boring. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not speaking I'm, of all I, that. I don't know why you think I'm that much of a deviant, Jackson. Well, I don't know why you're embarrassed of, or, or ashamed or like hiding that. You just fucked in the park. Because it's Turkey. No one's gonna put and you I'm in always jail for worried that. about admitting anything related to Turkey. Uh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> That's true. Lewis, speaking of indecent acts, have you ever committed a crime? Oh, heaps. <laughs> I used to be bad when I was younger. When I was 18, I used to love vandalism. And I oh, don't really? recommend it. And it's not a bad, it's not a good thing. But I will also say, fuck, it's fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing more fun than smashing something with the boys and then just running. Yeah. <laughs> Still fuck, to this I day, start. I don't so think that, I've ever were, had more fun. So you, you were a destruction kind of guy. Did you ever do stuff yeah, beyond murder? that, like tagging buildings or any of that shit? Are you the Australian arsonist? Did you cause all this? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, no, I never did. I never did graffiti. Uh, we just did me and my, basically me and my friends in high school after like house parties and stuff, we would go home and we would uh, just go, we called it besting because it was what we did best. Uh, and essentially, <laughs> we, <this> lame. <laughs> yeah, we it's would, uh, it's bad and I don't endorse it, but we did do it. We would smash cars and stuff. Like we would smash the windows of cars. My friends would oh, steal wow. GPSs and sell them. It was not good. Uh, but also it was very fun. That sounds like yeah. some straight bogan shit. Yeah, oh really. yeah. It was just like, oh, it was yeah. just criminal activity, just smashing stuff and being angry Pretty at the crime. world for fun. So but, what got you, you know, to stop then? Oh, uh, what got us to stop was uh, we got our karma on our on the worst night we ever did it. There was like maybe twelve of us, and we were never like all together at the same time. It was always just like three or four people Jesus. exchanging stories. Yeah. This, this isn't just you and your friends. Sorry, but this sounds like Fight Club. Twelve of you. This is a uh, classroom full of boys vandalizing the city. It's crazy. Yeah, look, but look, before I found stand up comedy, I was into some shit. So. <laughs> Uh, so we're going home from a house party, which we got kicked out of because we tried to fit 12 boys into the bathroom and we managed to do that, but also Why? someone pulled the light from yeah, the roof. For, for what? what? Uh, this is just to see if we could do uh, it. Every, every time you tell a story, there's another more interesting part of the story. <laughs> yeah, and it, all, it always involves like vandalism in a bathroom. <laughs> So, yeah. so we got kicked out of the house party because we fit all the boys in the bathroom and then someone got a little bit too excited and pulled the, the light out of the roof and then we got kicked out. So we left uh, and then it was just a rampage all the way home. Uh, I think like letterboxes got smashed, uh, bins were tipped over, some rocks were thrown. And the worst thing that happened was one of my friends, uh, there was a motorbike that was parked uh, and so one friend picks up a really big bin and puts the balances, the bin on top of the motorbike. And that was funny and it didn't damage the bike. So I was like, oh yeah, that's a good laugh. We all move on. And then my other friend who was the worst of us, we'd all move past the bike. He goes, boys, look at this. He gets us all to turn around and then he pushes the bike over off the curb. It like flips over three times, completely fucks it. And then everything that was in the bin goes all over the bike. And then we all start running. Um, and then about 40 seconds after that, he got hit by a car. And that's when we stopped. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's justice right there, baby. Wow. Yeah. yeah I don't feel bad about that. Yeah. No, he de deserved it. And he, was, he, he got hit by a car in front of all of us. I was crying. 
uh, the car didn't stop. It was like 60 kilometers an hour. It was bad. He's fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that was when him. all of us were like, maybe we should stop besting. And uh, we never did it again. So we got our karma. We didn't need the law to get involved because our friend uh, got hit by a car instead. It's a justice. terrible story. You threw away your potential because of a come to Jesus story where you thought maybe that we should need this as a sign, a divine sign, because Jeff got hit by a yeah. car. Think of where you could be. You should get the gang together again. I Unless know he's in a I coma should. or something. Black yeah. Ocean's yeah. 11, died literally. <laughs> There's only 11 of you now. <laughs> 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 hey, boys, you want to rob a bank and vandalize it? <laughs> God, it sounds like a fucking horror movie. You're the rowdy teenagers in the beginning, and then the killer tracks you down one by one. You're yeah. coming. Your, your time's coming, Lewis. I'd watch out. I know. Like Final I know. Destination. Yeah, <laughs> or like, I know what you did last summer. I know you wrecked my bike, Lewis. Just what? <laughs> See, so I think this is what theme parks should be like for little boys at the very least, because you know Charlie and Andrew told me about this Disney World and all that sort of stuff, and it just sounds miserable. Sucks, Instead yeah. of that, let's have a theme park where you can pay admittance, you can unleash your child, and that kid can, you know, he gets to go around and vandalize everything. And then all of the shopkeeps and all of the staff in the park, they're paid to act like they're angry. They can like shake their fists and run after the kid like, you little rascal, if I catch you, I will so and so and so and so. Uh, that's actually a pretty cool idea. I, I like, like that. that. Yeah. Yeah. Let that them is get really their, cute. Let them get, you know, just get it out of their systems. Have fun. Yeah. Have you guys Fuck ever yeah, wanted to? But then the park uh, would just be full of people like you, Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> There's no kids. You're just running around breaking windows and shit, picking up those <laughs> shopkeepers. Yeah, no, and Logic Turkey is a whole amusement park. That wouldn't be fun because you you're in on the you know you know the fourth wall. You know it's just all yeah. an act. Mm -hmm. It would be only fun for little boys who don't know that the oldest people are paid to be angry. <laughs> Interesting. It is a good idea, though. Uh -huh. Speaking on that, have you guys ever done or wanted to do a rage cage? I think it's what they're called. The fuck is you that? know what those what are? Is, That's the that? thing where you go to a business and they like they give you a bat and a helmet and just a bunch oh, of stuff yeah. and you're just designed to break the shit out of it. Have you ever seen those? I, I've no. seen them and uh, I got I got given a voucher to go to one, but I let the voucher expire because I was just like, yeah, I mean, it looks kind of fun, but at the end of the day, I'm allowed to do it and no one's going to chase me if I do it. So it's not that fun. <laughs> See, you know what I mean? That's you're, what I'm saying. Your boyish instincts good. kicked in. <laughs> it's not fun and, and when also you're allowed if I, to If do I it. did go to that, maybe I would relapse and i just go back to besting. <laughs> On your own, though. Yeah, <laughs> <It's solo. laughs> well, that's the thing. That's the, you know, vandalism is something that you can do uh, up until you're 18. If you do it past 18, you're going to jail. That's true. That's, true. that's not wrong. That's a, that's a sad yeah. point. Yeah, that's a shame. If you get so, what caught, I'm saying is, only do it if you're underage. Kids, go have fun. <laughs> no, do it if you know you can avoid getting caught. Too. Or if you're fast. I'd say that target too. the right people. I'd say yeah, definitely do like targeted yeah, like campaigns. Lewis and his friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah, people that deserve yeah. it. Yeah. Definitely, I need my karma. Yeah, if you want to... Like, <laughs> yeah, only target Lewis's house. I don't think anybody would be <laughs> mad at you, anyone important, if you vandalize the Chinese animal market. All right, that's fair. Just let them all go. Open yeah. all the cages. Yeah. Scott Morrison's estate. Yeah. Now we're oh, talking... Who? The, the Prime Minister, Prime Minister of Australia. Of Australia. Yeah. Oh, oh, Scott Morrison. Yeah. Right. Go to, ScoMo. Go to North Korea, vandalize their death camps. That'll show them. Oh, yeah. That's just, that's That'll a work. <laughs> yeah. Get locked up in the death camp immediately. <laughs> they were so embarrassed, they'll close them down. Just you watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Lewis, you a big yes. gamer? Uh, what did... Yeah, I, I know you it's know, an awful I, question. I know, but we have to. No, I I used to be much more of a gamer. Now that I do like between like stand up comedy and then the YouTube thing, I struggle to find time. But I still I still really do try to play World of Warcraft a lot. I love that game. Oh God, I'm sorry I asked. I know. Yeah, I, a lot of people talk <laughs> shit about it, but I fucking love it. I've been I've been playing it since like 2012. But um, 
uh, I've been getting into, I got a, I have a good gaming PC and I try to play shit. Like I, I really like all the, the battlefield franchise as well, but, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of out of the loop. Like what should I be playing? Oh, don't ask. Nothing. Oh God. Oh God. You're <laughs> opening up Nothing. a big can of worms here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's just, let's just switch gears here. Now's as good a time as any. Let's talk about anti-vaxxers. That's still probably my favorite piece Oh, yeah. Would you like to yep. weigh in on anti What about it? <laughs> Lewis, oh, I guess not everyone's seen it, I suppose. Lewis did some content where he went to one of the, like, the anti-vax rally protests, etc. And he was asking if anyone was a doctor there. And the responses are, there's something special. So I yeah. thought it'd be fun if we all just collectively took some shits on anti-vaxxing. Well, that, that was a fun, that was such a fun, I love field pieces like that. Uh, I've done another one at like a Marxism rally and I get followed for like hours and I love doing that kind of stuff. But <laughs> the, the vaccine one was still probably one of the weirder ones that I've done just because like, I, I was thinking going into it, like I knew what I was going to do. Like I was needed to get like, are you mm -hmm. a doctor? This, that I had like a bunch of stuff planned and a bunch of jokes, but, but I, I also thought that like, I would probably find like at least a few reasonable people. Do you know what I mean? Like not surely not yeah. everyone at the rally would be crazy. Some of them would have come to their own conclusions with the research they've done, bro. Every huh. single person I talked to there was fucking insane. It was so hard to get an interview. Like some people were telling, some people told me, a few people told me, oh, I can't do, I can't be on camera because I'm actually being followed at the moment by the government. And I was like, okay, <laughs> oh, yeah, you are. Oh God. Dude, like, you're going to do a video on those guys. Them, uh, yeah. They call themselves the gang stalkers or they, they, they are getting gang stalked. You know those? Those are the most fun. Mm -hmm. No? Those, yeah. Yeah, oh, no, what, what is that? Gang I've stalking, heard, type it into that. Reddit. It's the sub-community of people who think that everyone is a spy following them basically so you know wow. if they if they stop at a red light and then two minutes later they're at another red light and they notice the same car behind them they are convinced that must be the government or some sort of other organization following them and stalking them and oh my god you guys i noticed the same cloud two days in a row I'm getting gang stalked. I'm getting stalked. Some by of a it's gang. actually really sad, though. Like I watched a piece on gang yeah. stalking. One of the guys was a very successful person. I don't remember what he did. It was probably like a doctor or something. He ended up selling his house and living in a camper because he wanted to feel safer. No and he installed cameras around his camper to monitor each and every person that he'd see more than once and kept like a dossier of everyone <laughs> that he noticed more than Isn't once. Isn't that just I paranoid? Think it's, I think it's, yeah, yeah, it's super sad. It's a lot of people who have mental issues and disorders yeah. that just aren't treated. That's yeah, very but it's possible. Not a, yeah, that shit yeah. is wild. Uh, it's not a sad mental illness, though. It's like... It's the person of it's the mental illness of narcissism. It's the I'm the center of the universe and everybody is following me of mental illnesses. It's fine to make yeah, fun you're of right, him. Yeah, you're right, bro. He deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone's after me. No. Like, no, you just you just think you're special. I don't know about that, man. I think it's definitely <laughs> mental <Yeah>. illness. <laughs> <laughs> like, why the fuck would anyone stalk you? A soccer mom of two with four cats. Well, how That's the how point are you a danger illness. to, what, the lizard people? Zionists? Who you is stalking you? Like, the Illuminati? Like, uh, what, are you, what are you depressed about? It's just stop being sad. <laughs> oh, just don't kill yourself. What are you, fucking girl, man? Stop crying. That's what you're doing, bro. <laughs> no. I think these are just a bunch of fucking narcissists. Who I, bet there, themselves, I, yeah, I bet there is an element of that for sure. Yeah. There, people the, can one, the one that I always anything. find the one that I always find funny is that they always fall into the same stereotypes when describing stuff. They're always like, it's government agents, men in black suits. And like it's always the same description of the people that are following them. That's how shit. you know it's real. Yeah, oh. yeah, fair enough. That's how that's their proof. They all said it. That means it has to be true. I'm not alone in this. I'm not crazy. I knew it. Yeah, I guess so. If you have, I mean, it's, essentially what it is, is just a bunch of people with the same symptoms doing the same yeah. shit and then going, oh, that's evidence that it's right. It's like, no, nah, that's evidence that you all got the same thing, bro. <laughs> exactly. Think about it. If the government, if, if people started easily latching onto, ah, oh, that guy's wearing sunglasses and a black full suit, that's obviously a government yeah. agent. Don't you think they'd start wearing anything else? 
After sure. just, this is one of the very few true. downsides of the very few downsides of the internet is that now these lunatics can go online and jack each other off. It's like a community of anorexics <laughs> where they each tell each other that yes, you are obese. Yes, you need to eat less. You should eat four calories yeah. a day instead of five. And you have these fucking losers, these absolute narcissists thinking they're the center of the universe. And then, you know, replying to each other's posts going, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I think everybody in your yeah. life, all of their lives revolve around your life. I think you're right because I noticed well, they all revolve around my life too. Fucking man. Why do you sound so you're offended so right. by them? Dude, we, must, just... we have to abolish all support groups. Get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> Any victim consorting with another victim this must is not be a support to prison. Group. No, 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 don't. <laughs> what, are you, what do you mean? Is this a support group where they reinforce each other's uh, delusions? A heroin yeah, no, den there is, is not a there support is a lot group. Of that. It's scary. Yeah, there's there's a yeah. lot of that scary shit of like it's like it's they disguise it as a support group, but it's just a bunch of people. Unhealthy like, reaffirmation. Yeah, that's how yeah. that's how a ton of these communities and circle jerks start because it's one of the few places they find acceptance in what they're doing, and then it just feeds into this horrible shit. Yeah, it's like the, it's any... like the the big one on the internet as well is like really really obese people they get into the circle mm. jerk of people going oh you know it, it's fine to be 400 pounds and that unhealthy you look beautiful as you are and men like women with meat on their buns etc cetera, etc cetera. and it's like you know there is some level of group and community that's why they fall into that mindset with other people that healthy at every size stuff is really interesting I, I've look I look into it every now and then it's it's interesting in the sense that like like I, I get, I can understand why people would believe that because it is pretty easy to believe. Like, oh, you can you can be healthy in every size, blah blah blah. But if you're like maybe what four hundred pounds and you believe you're healthy at every size, I understand how you can believe that up until the point where you sit down and you uh, you you use the bathroom and what comes out of your ass sounds like a fucking waterfall because of your <laughs> horrible diet. Surely, when you sit down on the toilet and you hear <laughs> like a lawnmower starting, you think. Maybe I'm not or, healthy. Or the <laughs> fact that none of the members in your online forum are older than 35. And they all die after that of diabetes. <laughs> you know, that could be a sign too. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I mean. That's not could a support a group. You just have a, you have bad friends yeah. is basically what's this. Yeah. Yeah. Bad it's, like, it's like a support Another... group that gets, that gets out of hand. Like support groups need someone directing the, like the positivity. Who's moving not everyone obese. To yeah. <laughs> There's another, another, yeah. If another someone tried to get extreme. in there that wasn't ex, that wasn't obese, they would be exiled immediately. They try and like oh, of convince themselves that doctors are lying and out to get them. Of course, well, not in, not in healthy support groups where the people actually want to, you know, change themselves and, and get out yeah. of their unhealthy ways. Then there are actual support groups Wait, that do mm, help with that. But you also got to remember that's the point. These these online groups are like generally usually not not very healthy. Yeah, yeah no you got to remember it's the same shit with uh, cults. Like everyone's like, oh, I would I would never join a cult. What the fuck? They're obviously crazy. What's wrong with them? But you got to remember, for people, they they start going to the meetings and everyone's like, hi friend, welcome. Oh, you have a lot yeah. of debt. We can help you pay that off. Oh, you want friends to hang out with? Well, here's a big group. We're about to sing some songs, and then it just <laughs> gets 27. slowly worse and worse. You have twenty seven people stalking you. You're right. Yeah, they all they are they're all telling it, you you're too exactly. fat. No, no, no. You're healthy. You're healthy. No, yeah. Jessica humans didn't die of diabetes. No, was, humans was, are was, naturally were there any, were there social creatures. Cults? No matter what we try there, to do, there will be a fucking wire in our brain that tries to help us find acceptance with other groups. And if that's the group that's accepting you and no one else is, there you go. Mm. Well, that's what I got from the, the anti-vaccine protest going back to that. It's like <laughs> it, it seemed like a lot of like lost like there was there were a few people that genuinely believed it but there were a lot of people that just seemed very lost and like they just needed a belief system almost like talking to them because i i really i i really did want to yeah. like understand it while i was taking the piss um there were there were just people that were that were like oh you need like a fucking community and this is the only one that will accept you because you're a little bit off it's that, but they also, yeah. look, you, you know it, you know it. They just also want to feel a little special. They want to feel woke, red what pills, the whatever the fuck. <laughs> you know it, come on. Yeah, they want I to be the person who saw through the all. government conspiracy that the vaccinations are just made mind control pills or whatever the fuck. And they want to be the special yeah, people. Bro. I think, why can't it be both, though? They both want yeah, to feel special and you, have a community. 
How yeah, could you possibly know? There was, I think there were two different type. There were maybe three people, types of people there. There was like the people that, that, that like in their head had w- done a lot of research and come to the right conclusion. And then the other two people were like the crazy lost cunts. And then the other one was like the freedom fighter fighting against the government. Like at the end of my video, that guy called Neo literally comes up. He came up to Neo. me. I did not approach him. He <laughs> saw me filming and he was like, this is my fucking moment. I'm going to talk about about the tyranny of the government and unfortunately mm. for, the, for him I took the absolute piss out of him but you can see like none of that stage I didn't even ask him for an interview I was about to leave he came up to me and was like I'm gonna fucking be the savior and he just ended up looking like an idiot yeah <sighs> there's absolutely that element though especially with like flat earth just the desire to be smarter than other people mm-hmm. like how can yeah. you sheep believe that the water is yeah. safe Mm. There was a, there was an article theory, I read ago. Well, it's 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 not mm-hmm. only even just that. There was an article I read ago on a big study where your brain actually gets an endorphin rush from proving other people wrong. Or <laughs> it sounds like you read it on a Reddit. <laughs> but they never do. That's the it problem. Is. They never prove anyone wrong. <laughs> That's also the thing. That's also a factor. The, they do the in brain their mind. Yeah. But, but exactly right. in their mind, they think that they're they're asserting their superiority, and yeah. your brain loves yeah. doing that. Yeah. Your brain I mean, that's, that's why where that's why we've like become so smart and have such like a like a high tech civilization. It's just our brains trying to work out the correct answer to everything and what's yeah. the best way to do everything. And yeah. some people's brains go the wrong direction. A lot of ours don't. But end of the day, everyone's trying to fucking work shit out, and some people just go astray. Mm-hmm. It's all about security. At the end of the day, we're just looking for self-preservation and acceptance yeah. and anything that and helps pussy. that in any way. And our pussy. brain loves it. Yeah. And pussy. Yeah. And What's pussy. your guys' favorite part about a pussy? How I can the accept lady it. Mm. The The whole. <laughs> Controversial, I know. <laughs> the <Man>. uterus. <laughs> I feel like the, the cervix ch- doesn't get enough love. <laughs> The child that eventually comes out of it. Oh, Ew. you pussy. Oh. Oh. I'm saying that the oh. beauty of giving life, you fucking oh. degenerates. Oh. Yeah, okay. I sure. You want me to hold your purse you on that one? Like, good God. <laughs> I see where you're coming from, and I thought it was beautiful, Lewis. You That's care about right. more than just the vagina, the physical aspect. You care about the emotional and uh, potential of... Legacies, I get you. No, no, no. I'm saying inside. that women are only for bearing children, and that's right. it. Right. Mm. Yeah, we know that. that much as My well. favorite part is how it tears in half after it gives birth to a child, and doctors have to sew it back together. Dude, that's it's terrifying. Okay, right? yeah, <laughs> that's true, though. <laughs> yeah. It is, it is what, true. What conspiracy <laughs> form did you read that on? It's true. It's true. It's absolutely Dude, I'm, true. I'm Happens saying, in the majority I'm of cases. Near that. You know, all women shit themselves as well, which makes yeah, sense. That, I mean, you're that was the other one I was going to bring up. Women take a fat fucking shit after giving birth because it's all stopped Ew. up for the last month. Yeah. No, dur- during birth too. No, yeah. during birth, they shit. Like birth everywhere. is a horrible, okay. disgusting, messy process. That's what the shit is yeah. for. It creates yeah, a little blanket can... where the baby lands. <laughs> it's like a water Your conspiracy slide. isn't right because you're stating <laughs> mundane facts that just sound like you made this... You know, grand statements that every vagina is torn in two during birth. Well, yeah, that's it splits true. right down to the bum, the the, the butthole. <laughs> Not <laughs> always. <laughs> what? What birth Most. have you guys watched? Most. The asshole well, starts ripping too. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it. De- I guess it depends what your mum was the up to. The woman turns mate. inside out. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> I guess it depends what your mum was up to in yeah. the lead up. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> the prolapse comes out. The doctor slaps yeah. it on the cheek. It's like, come on, try <laughs> shitting cry. everywhere. <laughs> the prolapse he gets your legs up breathing. in like the Kama Sutra. <laughs> uh, I didn't know they all shit themselves, though. Is it yeah. every single woman, or do, is there like I some civil so. Sometimes the doctors so, too, too. I, I, makes, I don't know a sense, single right? fucking You're thing. Pushing. About women and pregnancy, but I think it's because the woman, the baby women. gets so big at the very end of <laughs> yeah, it that they just... just stop with it. <laughs> I, look, I've never met a woman, but this is what happens when they... Yeah. <laughs> I'm no doctor, nor have I ever looked up anything ever, but I think it's because the baby gets so big at the end of the pregnancy, you just can't shit all of it out, so when the baby's out, you're finally getting all that poop out. Well, I... I, I, I mean, I'm not the vagina, I'm not the anus. 
<laughs> you don't press it against baby. everything else, Kaya. <laughs> no, but when you push it, what do you think the baby yeah, exists in a little everywhere. vacuum outside of the woman, just in its own space? Well, That's how long it. does the baby? There's only, yeah. there's how long only does one way to solve this. Like, back up for. Charlie has to get someone pregnant. That's the only way to solve this. How about we, we each should go to the pregnancy No, world. we should all get someone pregnant, and whoever's wife doesn't shit themselves during birth or holds it the longest wins some kind of prize. Yeah, and yes. then we'll have a second runner-up prize for whose wife takes the biggest shit at the yeah. end of pregnancy. All right, pregnancy. boys, I'll see you in nine months. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll reconvene. <laughs> <laughs> Episode live from the delivery room. Can we do a biggest <laughs> abortion instead? I don't think oh, I'm ready. Oh, oh. Pussy. <laughs> well, you should just not get the chick pregnant. You don't have to be a part of. Wait, so you're, oh, yeah. you're gonna <laughs> fuck her and then make it an abortion? <laughs> just have, just, my, the just have my girlfriend take a massive shit and lie about it. <laughs> 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 Bring her to the hospital. <laughs> just to shit Take on the shit floor in the doctor's face. <laughs> just massive liquid diarrhea shotgun right in his face as he's expecting a baby. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna cut the umbilical cord." And next thing you know, it's just this barrage of diarrhea in his mouth. <laughs> this is a good plan. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like this. Where's the baby? <laughs> You always find a way to cheat the system, Kaya, and I don't like it. <laughs> you know what's not good, good, though, is that at some point in, in, in our lives, like, one of us is actually going to get someone pregnant, and then some no. fucking nerd is going to remember this, and that's all they're going to want to know. Like, you'll post a photo with your yeah, beautiful yeah. newborn child, oh, and, and all I'm the gonna comments will know. just be like, I'm gonna did be in she there. poo? Yeah. Oh, God. If one of us have a kid, the fucking comments we're going to get. Jesus Christ. Well, I, I, no I mean, one's going to remember us then. Jesus Christ. Are yeah, you kidding me? It, but... Talk about narcissism. Well, Kaya wants kids. Yeah, but not right now. Not immediately. Well, that, I mean, oh, then I again, I would be them. okay with the show continuing another hundred years. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't take that much effort. So whenever I do have a child, fuck, man, I wouldn't even bring it up. I don't even know if I would tell you guys. With all the comments we get, I would be so reluctant to brag about it or yeah. share happily because it's so much it's so much different than you know jackson knows you take a photo of your cat and you put it in your instagram and it's adorable and everybody just spams like hearts and such and it's cute I, mm -hmm. I you can't do the same thing with a human being man people are fucking weird they're gonna get obsessed well, and also the, the cat had, doesn't have the Go ability ahead. to read those comments and feel special like yeah. they don't they don't like mm -hmm. turn six and be like oh i'm better than everyone else because my parents are famous and i have instagram likes like that no, i feel that. like it's that like, fucks kids up my cat isn't gonna know you know people aren't ever gonna obsess over what my cat eats or where he goes to school or whatever the fuck that kind of stuff or what yeah. he's gonna do once he turns 12 or hey can we get feed pictures of your cat that's never happened but I bet if it, if it yeah. was a human child, it would immediately. So, God, privacy is important, man. you got to hide your children from the internet, yeah, for even, sure. Even Tiana, Tiana has an Instagram page for Yeah, man, Joseph Fritzl knew what he was doing, bro. you got to hide them kids. Yeah, he's not <laughs> wrong. On that Instagram page Tiana has for the dogs, people leave the weirdest fucking shit about fucking the dogs. Like, it's just <laughs> weird. Yeah. yeah. It's literally just some of the grossest, weirdest shit in an attempt to be, like, edgy or something, but it's just goofy. Can't even imagine that for a kid, like, if Kanye West posts a picture of his daughters or something, the shit that goes on in there, and them seeing that would be just terrifying. Yeah. Yeah, it's just because it it's always like a lot of the time it's just people trying to be funny, but they just like yeah. sometimes sometimes you read a comment and you go, Oh, being funny is a skill because this guy's not pulling it off. Yeah, I mean you look, you can be funny like or whatever. Threat. It's just humor doesn't have to be universal, but when it's I don't care as much about what you think about my cat, because what the fuck are you gonna do if you dox my cat? Right? It's just a cat. She sleeps yeah. twenty hours a day. That's what the f whatever. That's her life, and then ten years from now, that's her lifespan basically. But it's when it's a child, and you know, you're gonna put a photo of your child on the internet, and next thing you know, the first comment is gonna be a Photoshop of your baby in a gas chamber. It's okay. I don't yeah. want that. Maybe that's that I mean, might be a much, little too much. Think how much personal or more personal it's gonna get too. Like you post a picture of your dog, and maybe some asshole is gonna be like, "Oh, that's a that's an ugly looking dog." Oh, your dog looks stupid, but you posted <laughs> yeah. of your kid. You posted of your kid, and they're like, that's that's an ugly kid you got there. You're going to be like, the fuck did you just say? Huh? Yeah. Hey, Jesus. It's a bummer, too. 
Yeah. But what if your kid actually is point. super ugly, though? That's well, going to hurt even worse. Yeah. yeah. Surely, <laughs> right. do you reckon parents know? Surely you know. You look at your child oh, yeah. and you go, oh, that, <laughs> fuck, she lost Absolutely, the genetic lottery there. That is an ugly child. Yeah, but at the same time, so... Look, let's be honest here, you know, our pets aren't perfect, right? You still love them. So I, at the same time, I feel like no matter what they're going to look like or be like, you, st you will still love them. Yeah, but oh, they're super different. Yeah, you'll yeah, love they them, are super but you can different. objectively... It's at, of at course. The, there's one thing you got to remember the big difference. With a pet, you choose the pet. With a kid, you just... That's the kid. What well, it comes you, out as is well, what you get. not necessarily. You don't... Yeah. You, know, you can pick choose. Up a, well, you can, you can. That's true. You can adopt. About, no, kind of but in up. either case, you don't know how they're going to turn out when they grow up. If you pick up a kitten, you don't know what kind of cat that's going to turn into. Same with an adopted child. So That's true. But yeah, no, absolutely. Children are different. You know, I, I don't care that my... So I have two cats. One of them is the little female one. And she's... I feel like she's genuinely kind of retarded. She may have a mental disability. She's kind of just fat and stupid. But she's a cat. I take care of her. It doesn't matter if she's dumb. You're right. But if I had a child... And he was just having a really rough time in life. I would be upset. Yeah, you would put be it sad up if for people adoption. make fun of him. I'd put him up for no. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but again, back to that point for ugly children and their parents. With an animal, there is no such thing as an ugly animal. Like all that shit is super cute, but people yeah. are absolutely hideous. Like there's some true. genuinely not good-looking people out there. And that's if you totally happen true. to be the sole owner of one, like that's very tough to deal with, especially in like an online yeah. environment. And also what's funny, Charlie, is ugly animals are seen as cute. Like the people exactly. who adopt like yeah. an intentionally ugly dog, everyone's like, oh, look at uh, him. He's so cute. Yeah, but no one does that for like the family that adopts some Tumblr shit poster <laughs> that looks like ass or something. Yeah, but because when it's an ugly animal, like when it's an ugly pit bull or a whatever, a disfigured cat or a chihuahua, you go, okay, you know what? This poor little thing, it doesn't even know. It's not aware it's different, right? It just eats the food, it naps and it purrs. That's cute. But when you have a child, like when you look at those ultra pro-life people who just out of stubbornness they decide to have the most disfigured child instead of aborting it and then it just looks like the suffering alien baby and you know fuck man that's fucked up because that kid is never gonna be loved by anyone it's gonna just suffer its entire life breathing through a tr tube that's sad that is sad it is yeah. sad I, I got family friends who have a child that all the doctors reckon uh, is just not there and it's like a really sad situation because she was and then she wasn't and now she's like what that happened like like decades ago and now she's like an adult but she's not the doctors say she's not there the parents think she's still there and it's just this weird thing of like fuck they've just decided to like take care of her until whatever happens it's like a it's a very 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 hard situation to like from the outside yeah. to be like fuck you can never mm -hmm. do that but i don't know some people do it you don't know, like, maybe the doctors don't see it, but every now and then you see a flash of your child there. It's fucking very heavy. Yeah, you can see the... Oh, that's the, a lot to take, yeah. Yeah, the, that, like, okay, you know what? The parents can be noble here. This is, I get where they're coming from, but at the same time, man, just should this, should this be done to a living thing? Well, the good news is, though, boys, with CRISPR right around the corner, all those things can be an issues of the past. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. We'll Are you see. interested I'm in CRISPR, Lewis? What is that? Would you I, thought you about to, I thought you'd add another brand deal. I thought you were about to do some stuff. <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> what's CRISPR? Yeah, towards the end of the episode, we got to get one more in there. No, Christ what's CRISPR? Yeah. It's like genetic engineering, basically. You can, it'd be like a yeah. shot that could go in and rewrite your genes and pretty much solve the majority of issues people face, like even aging to an extent. It's crazy shit. Yeah, well, they, they reckon that... that aging is aging is just the body doesn't know how, how to replicate itself properly without damaging mm -hmm. a little bit of itself every time it does so like if you can close that loop like there are jellyfish that that unless killed they will live forever so like it's possible yeah. on us on a simple being it's like if you could work out how to do it to something as complex as a human or an animal like yeah I, it's I, maybe not in our lifetime the infinite life but i think that's totally going to happen Oh, definitely. I hope within but, our lifetime, Jesus. So in our lifetime, Lewis, the Chinese are currently experimenting with this. Recently, they created twin sisters, I think, 
using CRISPR technology who just they right, say it's yeah, a, it was an that. accident, but you know the sisters are no apparently way. ultra intelligent and immune to HIV, which is kind of suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you were trying to create superhumans. <laughs> that's that's a really Oops. weird combination. Like like they're they're trying to create a superhuman, and they're like, oh, what power should we give it? And like, oh, I want something really smart that I can fuck heaps. I have HIV. <laughs> It's <laughs> <laughs> something that won't talk to the authorities. Let's give him that gene. Also, I'm kind of <laughs> into twins. Yeah, that's crazy though. So, uh, so they're like, how how old are the twins? They because I've I've heard about this and I know they've done it, but like, are we no going to find out about these twins when they're adults? Are they just going to take over the world? Do they have superpowers? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's China, so I doubt we'll ever find out anything negative about them. Mm. Uh, let's see. I can Google. But chi- but the government did stop that from happening, or maybe they just said they stopped it. Nah. And they hired, you know, when like when when someone hacks into the government, the government doesn't arrest them; they hire them. It might have been that kind of situation. Maybe. I mean, this ha- listen to this headline: China's CRISPR twins might have had their brains inadvertently enhanced. Yeah, sure. Of course. <laughs> Whoops! I accidentally <laughs> leveled up genetic science. Oops! <laughs> Accidentally creating an army of super clones. Uh oh! I guess we have to go to war. Whoops! Inadvertent. But <laughs> but don't fucking all Chinese people have advanced brains anyway? They're like the smartest people on earth. Yeah, but now they're taking it to the next level. Yeah, like like advanced for a Chinese brain. These Dude. are the people eating bat brains and getting fucking. Yeah, yeah that's how they get so smart, uh, I mean, bro. Why got... do you think we're dumb? We're eating chicken and beef like morons. Yeah, they got what, almost two here. million people. You got to remember, there's a pretty diverse population there. Yeah, yeah. There's plenty yeah. of bats to go around. <laughs> plenty of coronavirus. Don't worry. Should we wrap up the podcast? Yep, we can start wrapping it up, Jackson, if you'd like to take it out. Yeah. All right, uh, Lewis, thank you for joining us on this episode. Shout no out worries, stuff, boys. Mate. Yeah, it was yeah, very fun. Uh, I'm going to be doing the, uh, just search Lewis Spears, and I perform all the time. I'm mainly a stand-up comedian, uh, so check out my website, lewispears.com. If you want to find out about dates, lewispears.com slash gig list. You put your city in there. I'll send you an email when I'm doing a show there. I'm doing the UK, and I'll be doing the America, America soon, and I'm doing Australia this year. And, uh, yeah, check out my channel. i got a comedy special out as well on my website. i got heaps of shit. You know how to use Google. You know how to spell. Go check it out. Amen. Perfect. Sounds great. Yeah. And thank you for listening to this week's episode. Uh, we got a Patreon, patreon.com slash the official podcast for bonus episodes. Feel free to check them out. Thank you to my fellow co-hosts and Lewis for joining us. And thank you for listening. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next week. Yeah, that was great. Thanks, boys. What a good fun. <laughs>